Today I'll show you how to easily integrate Stripe payment on your WordPress site. All you need to do is install the free Stripe plugin, create an account on the Stripe website and enable the payment gateway from WordPress settings. It's super simple and takes 5 minutes to set up. Also, make sure you watch till the end so that you don't miss any important steps. My name is Shekhar, welcome to our channel and let's begin. First, let's go to plugins, add new plugin and look for WooCommerce for Stripe. This is the one we need, so let's install and activate it. Then I'll go to WooCommerce, select Settings and go to Payments. Select Stripe to finish the plugin setup so that we can enable it. Now I have to connect my Stripe account with this website. So I'll open a new tab and go to the Stripe website. Then I'll sign into my account from here. Stripe is available on request in India. So if you are a new user, fill out the request form on the Stripe website and get the approval. Once Stripe is approved for your business, you can create your account. I'll complete the account setup quickly and this is how the dashboard looks like. Next, I'll go back to my dashboard and click here to connect my Stripe account. I'll follow these steps and voila, it's connected. Now I'm gonna set up the account to receive payments. Here, you can see webhooks is disabled and to receive payments, we need to enable it. Now, what are webhooks and why do we need them? Webhooks are notifications that let your app know when something happens with a payment, like when a payment is completed or a refund is issued. To enable it, click on Edit Account and click Configure Webhooks. Then, I'll copy this URL and go to the Stripe account. Here, I'll select Developers and go to Webhooks. Then, click Add Endpoint and paste the URL here. I'll also add a description and select an event from this drop-down menu. Let's use the charge option and you can select all of these or a few of them. I'll select all the charge events and then click on add event point. Now to see if Stripe is working or not, I'll go back to my WooCommerce website and click on test connection. It says connection successful, meaning it's working. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just airlift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now let's tweak some settings here. First is to enable payments via saved cards, a feature I want on my website, so I'll keep it enabled. Next, our transaction preference option. If you want to issue an authorization during payment, enable this. And I want the order number to be printed on the customer transaction receipt. So, I'll keep this one enabled as well. Once you're done, click on Save Changes. Before I accept payments on my Stripe account, I want to test how everything is working. Thanks to the test mode, I can do that before making any real transactions. So, let's go to the Stripe account and select Test Mode. I'll come back to my site, enable the test mode there and select save changes. For this mode, I'll add test keys. So let's go to Stripe, select API keys and copy the publishing key. Then come back to the site and paste it here. I'll do the same with the secret key as well. It's done, hit configure webhooks. Finally, click on save test keys. Now I have to add an event point here. So I'll repeat the process as I did earlier. Let's go back to the website and see if it's working. I'll click on test connection and it's working successfully. Now let's go to the store and make a purchase. I'll add this product, then go to checkout and complete the order details. As I'm using the test mode, I will add a test credit card number. Stripe has a specific test card number for each country. So I'm going to use the number allotted for India. You can find the list in the description. Just copy the number and paste it here. Add a card export date and a CVV, then place the order. Here you will get this pop-up, select complete and the order is done. Since everything works well in the test mode, my website is ready to accept real payments using Stripe. So I'll turn on the live mode again. Let's go back to the dashboard and go to Stripe settings. Here I'll enable the live mode and click save changes. You can go through these payment methods and make some customizations if you want. And select save changes once you're done. 
Then I'll go to my Stripe account and enable the live mode here as well. Once both live modes are on, I'll do a connection test on the website dashboard. So let's see if it's working. And it shows that it was successful. Now my website is ready to accept live payments from customers. So I'll go to the store and add some products to the cart. Here, customers will add the card info and place their orders. You will be able to see all the payments and details on your Stripe accounts dashboard. You can keep track of all the orders and the money you have received on account dashboard without any hassle. So comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.